what was began at the, uh, the, the uh, Irish Brigade. It was commanded by Thomas Patrick Maher. He was a great Irish uh, hero in Ireland. He had, had been involved in several uh, unsuccessful insurrections. He traveled to, to France in the 40s, 1840s, to get support for the Irish. And uh, the women of France made him a flag. They made it uh, based on the French flag with the Irish colors. Mm. And uh, 80 years later, that was the flag that the Republic of Ireland adapted. That's where the, uh, the Irish flag was like, looked like that. But it was a gift given to Thomas. Uh, Thomas Patrick Marr. Uh, he was sent to Van Diemen's land. He was supposed to be killed, and uh, instead his punishment was commuted to exile in Van Diemen's land. He arrived there and gave his parole, saying he would not try to escape until he figured out how to escape. <laughs> and then he withdrew his parole and escaped, and came to the United States and became a pretty well known artist. He was a rancher for a while, but then he became, with not really much military training, he took command of the Irish Brigade. Um, because of the famine in 1847, that started in 47, Millions of Irishmen came to the United States, and uh, you're going to hear in some of these songs that they were they were grateful for what America had done. And one of the things that really kind of influenced the success of the Irish Brigade in the Civil War was a mistake that was not repeated that our army had done in the War with Mexico. In the War with Mexico, there was an Irish Brigade as well, but the, the Know Nothings were so strong that they had made sure that there were no Irish no Catholic chaplains could be in the, in the army. Catholic chaplains were banned. From the army. So uh, the Irish Brigade, they couldn't go to mass, and they couldn't go to mass, and they found themselves in Mexico fighting Catholics, and kind of fighting Catholics in support of slavery. So the Irish Brigade went over it en masse to the Mexicans. It was kind of a stain on the Irish American soldiers at that time. Uh, they did it just before the defeat of the Mexican army, so they, they, it's poor timing anymore. And they eventually, uh, their officers were hung, and many of the men were rendered with tea on the cheek for the traitors. So the American army had a, a poor view of Irish men, especially Irish Catholics. In the Civil War, however, they were allowed to have Catholic chaplains. And that went a long way toward making it easier for Irish Americans to join the army. So uh, now I'm going to sing a song, it's a theater song. Some of the songs I've been singing are from, uh, from soldiers. But this is a song from the Penny Theaters in New York. There were a lot of Penny Theaters where immigrants could go and get entertainment. And they were all ethnic theaters. There were uh, Jewish theaters, and German theaters, and there were Irish theaters. And this is a song from the Irish Penny Theater called We'll Fight for Uncle Sam. Mm -hmm. It's uh, the tune of Whiskey in the Jar. So if you know that song. Which I suspect a couple of you might. <laughs> I'll fight for Uncle Sam. He'll lead us on to glory, oh, he'll lead us on to glory, oh, save the stripes and stars. I won't see the regimental in my new state of wilderness. I'm defeated by the mini deer and all our darling children. Like the Irish volunteers, the devil of all the parade is. Because we've got that soldier boy, my blood and corn of him. We'll fight for Uncle Sam. He'll lead us on to glory, oh, Uncle A will 